In our lesson today, we are going to compare the characteristics of plants and animals. In short, we are going to discuss the differences that are present in plants and animals. Main differences. So let's dive in. Number one has to do with nutrition. Most plants have chlorophyll. You know, the green pigment that is present within leaves. As a result, they are able to carry out photosynthesis and therefore manufacture their own food. Animals, on the other hand, lack chlorophyll. They don't have chlorophyll and therefore cannot manufacture their own food and have to feed on ready-made food from plants or other animals. What about movement? Plants do not move about. Now, I want to stress on something. When you talk about plants do not move about, you are about hapo in Amanisha. They cannot move from one point to another. But when it comes to movement, plants are capable of localized movement. You know, small movements of certain parts of their body, such as opening and closing of flowers, stretching of roots deep in the soil, leaves folding and unfolding, and so on. So what we mean here is that plants cannot move from one point to the other. And therefore, this is stated as plants do not move about. What about animals? Animals, of course, move about in search of food and water. Irritability. Plants respond slowly to changes in the environment. Animals, on the other hand, respond very quickly to changes in the environment. Living in an environment where the conditions continuously change. So, for example, temperature, light intensity, atmospheric pressure, humidity, and so on. These are continuously changing. Now, organisms not only have the ability to detect when changes happen, but they also have the ability to respond to them. Animals can respond very quickly to them. Plants, on the other hand, respond slowly. So there's a common experiment that is done whereby you change the source or the direction of light from one point to another. So what will happen is that over time, the plant is going to bend towards the source of light. And the reason for this is because plants require light in order to carry out photosynthesis. But this the bending of the plant is something that takes time. It can take weeks until the plant do so. So this experiment illustrates to us that, number one, plants have the ability to note that there is a change in the light intensity within their environment, and then they respond to it. But their response is very slow as compared to animals. Moving on to our next characteristic, growth. Now, in plants, growth only occurs in meristematic tissues, while in animals, growth occurs all over the body. So animals grow all over their body. But when it comes to plants, plants grow in certain parts of their bodies where there are tissues known as meristematic tissues. So these are tissues that are involved in growth. And they are found at the tips of the shoots and at the tips of the root. So this is where maximum growth takes place. Our last difference is with regards to excretion. Now, when it comes to excretion, plants lack complex excretory organs. So this simply means that they don't have any complex excretory organs. And the reason for this is because the waste products in plants simply diffuse out or they accumulate within certain parts and then they are removed. Yani, their methods of excretion are simpler with regards to animals. Animals, on the other hand, have complex excretory organs. We are talking about the lungs, the kidneys. These are complex excretory organs. When you're told that something is complex, this means that it has so many different parts and all of these parts work together to achieve a certain function. So excretory organs in animals are quite complex compared to those of plants. And that, ladies and gentlemen, brings us to the end of this lesson.